I monetized a YouTube Shorts channel in only 29 days, and I've already made hundreds of dollars in passive income. And you can do the same. Today I'll be sharing everything I've learned so far about growing a YouTube Shorts channel. Here's what you need to do. Step 1 is to figure out a niche for your YouTube Shorts channels. Usually here, the gurus are telling you to do one of these. You either choose a niche in which you are interested, such as cars, sports, movies, or any other field you are interested in, which is not bad at all if you do this. Or the other option, you choose a niche where a lot of money can be made, thanks to the higher RPM, such as finance or education. And this cannot be less true than that, because in YouTube Shorts, there are no niches with a higher RPM. All niches have the same RPM, regardless of whether they are cars, finances, or cute cats. But I'm here to show you a secret hack in choosing your niche. For starters, you have to think of YouTube as a business. And now what do you think is the main goal of any business? Profit. So you want to choose a niche in which you can be profitable with as little work as possible and with as few headaches as possible. Some of the niches that fit perfectly with what I said earlier are the niches that are based on trends, celebrities, or news. Because these niches are more likely to get many views in a short time. And I say this because this is exactly what I did to get over 14 million views in a single month and to monetize my channel so quickly. I chose a niche in which I showed interest, namely sports, but I did not do the usual things that everyone is used to doing. Instead, I modified the strategy. I created videos in the sports niche about topics that would bring me a lot of views, but I will talk about that a little later. Because now I want to tell you what step two consists of. Each niche has a different type of audience, so you have to figure out your audience. For my channel, my audience is between 25 and 45 years old, and they are mostly men, but I'm not too bad when it comes to women either. And these metrics are important because you don't want to create content in a niche but for the wrong audience. And I say this because I tried several strategies that brought me more or less views. For example, I posted a video in which I used several effects and transitions, and the subtitles were word for word. I did this thinking that I would make it more interesting, and that I would get more views. But I couldn't be more wrong than that, because what happened was the exact opposite. The video had a lower average view duration which led to fewer views. And all this happened because I didn't take into account the audience I had. My audience was not used to this fast editing style with many effects and transitions, because they are mostly a little older people, who are most likely not used to TikTok. But when I posted a video in which I no longer used so many effects and transitions, and the subtitles were no longer word for word, I noticed an increase in views as well as in the percentage of the average views duration. So identifying your target audience is a good way to go, because you will get rid of the time and money lost in creating videos that do not align with your audience. And now it's time for step number three, which consists of finding ideas. But not just some ideas, but viral ideas. Because in reality, when it comes to creating a video, nothing is more important than the idea of the video. A good idea can bring you millions of views regardless of the quality of the video editing. While even if you have the most interesting edit on your video, if the idea is weak, so will the views. So how do you find viral video ideas? Well, that's not really that simple because it differs from niche to niche and your ability to see this kind of viral ideas. Luckily for you, I have some tricks that can help you get viral ideas for your videos. As I said at the beginning of the video, your niche must be based on at least one of the following characteristics. Trends, celebrities, or news. For example, a bad niche idea in which you will most likely have a very hard time getting views is the food niche. In this niche, it will be very difficult for you to find viral video ideas because it is not based on any of the characteristics that I mentioned earlier. In this niche, there are almost no trends. You don't have the possibility to talk about celebrities in the niche because there are none. And when it comes to news, there is also no news about which you could make a video and which would reach viral. But now remember, I didn't say it's impossible to make viral videos in this niche. I said it's less likely to get a lot of views in a short period of time in this niche. Instead, a good example of a niche and a channel that already uses the strategy I'm talking about is the Starless channel. And they make over 60 million views per month, but they even had months in which they made over 200 million million views. So what did the people who own this channel do? Right from the beginning, they chose to create videos in a niche where there will always be interest, namely, the life of celebrities, specifically singers. So what the people behind the channel do is find videos with moments from concerts of different artists and create a script in the form of a story, which they then read and include in the video. So they use the fame of several stars to make views, so to make viral videos, you will have to use trends, celebrities, or news. For example, let's say you chose the basketball niche. To find viral ideas, you will have to use trends, for example, an important match that took place recently, and make videos with different moments from that match. Celebrities. Instead of talking only about the match itself, create videos about celebrities from that industry, for example. A video about stupidly expensive things that LeBron bought, or something like that. News. Search through the news and see what news has started to get more and more attention, and then use it to create your videos. 
And now let's talk about step number four, which is writing the script. To be able to make money with YouTube Shorts, you will also need a script, but don't worry, you don't have to be an expert to write scripts. Although there are quite a few monetized YouTube short channels that do not use any voice or script in their videos, I do not recommend this, not because it does not work, but because in the future you may have problems with monetization. So, let's play it safe. If you choose to create a channel similar to Starless, basically you don't have much to do. All you have to do is watch the video a few times, and then explain it in the form of a story. To make your script as interesting as possible, use strong words such as unbelievable, impossible, shocking, etc. If you choose to create a channel like Driveverse, it will be a bit more complicated. You will have to take into account the hook, the main content, and the end of the video. All I can tell you is to try to make the hook as interesting as possible. A good hook has a maximum of 3 seconds and produces an emotion such as anger, sadness, happiness, and so on. When it comes to the main content of the video, try not to make it too long. And when it comes to the end of the video, do it in such a way that it doesn't even seem like an end. I keep my shorts somewhere between 25 and 35 seconds, but this is not a general rule. You can do them for 10, 40, or even 59 seconds. It all depends on how much your audience is used to watching. And for this, I recommend you study your competition. Step number five would be recording the voice. If you have a good microphone, all you have to do is record yourself. But if you don't have a microphone, I have a much simpler option for you. In the description of this video, I left you a link to the best text-to-speech program on the market at the moment. Eleven Labs is simply the best AI voice software. And I'm not just saying it to sound fancy. I'm saying it because I use this program for absolutely all all my videos. The voices in Eleven Labs are so realistic that it is a real challenge to recognize if they are AI or not. And that's not even the crazy part. What's even crazier is that if you use the link in the description, you can use this wonderful program for just $1. So Eleven Labs is simply a no-brainer. $1 for the best quality on the market. This is what I call an awesome deal. And now let's move to step number six, which is video editing. Depending on your niche, you will need to edit your videos more or less. For example, in the niche I chose, all I had to do was add some subtitles and some transitions. But that might depend on the niche you chose and the audience in that niche. When it comes to subtitles, a tool like Submagic can be of great help. Instead of manually putting the subtitles for each short separately or hiring someone to do it and to consume a lot of money and time, a much easier option would be to use Submagic, which is software that uses artificial intelligence and creates subtitles for your videos in just a few seconds. I leave a link in the description in case you want to use it. After you have done all these steps, all you have to do is upload the video. Don't waste too much time with the description and tags. Use programs like vidIQ to help you with the title, description, and keywords. To do everything much faster, I'll leave you a link to the program in the description to make it easier for you to find it. If you follow the steps I showed you in this video, I guarantee that you will monetize your channel much faster, just like I did. If you want to see what results I had by applying the strategy from this video, I recommend watching this video, where I showed all the results that I gained after applying the strategy from this video. 